Michael McCann, Cardinal Authority, out here at Cardinal Stadium. Louisville finally having its home opener uh, this weekend as Florida State comes to town. And one thing that needs to happen, offense needs to show up even a little bit more. Saw some positive signs. Obviously, when you go from scoring 20 points versus just seven, you're making a little bit of progress. We saw Malik being Malik a little bit more, led the team, got over 100 yards in rushing. Still wasn't his best day passing, so that needs to be shorn up a, a little bit. We just finished talking to uh, head coach Scott Satterfield, offensive coordinator Lance Taylor, and one of the things, one of the themes that really came out of that press conference is they need to get more guys involved. Obviously, we know what T. Huddy can do. He's had many of opportunities. Obviously, a big time, a big play making kind of guy. But they have other guys like that on the field as well. We've seen glimpses of them, be it D. Wiggins, Amari Huggins, Bruce, Braden Smith. You've got the running backs as well, Marshawn Ford. They need to get those guys a lot more involved than we've seen in the in the first couple of games. Lance Taylor saying, really put you know putting it on his shoulder, saying I need to do a much better job of scripting some of those guys in early in the game instead of it just you know becoming a Malik Cunningham to T. Huddy, uh, Tyon Evans show there during the early script. So look for guys like D. Wiggins to get a little bit more his number called early in the game during the scripted part of the offense. Look for those other receivers, Amari Huggins, Bruce, Braden Smith, Marshawn Ford. Saw a little bit more of him against UCF. But again, we need to see a lot more of that. Scott Satterfield did also mention probably going to see Travion Cooley this weekend against Florida State and a little bit more carries for Jawar Jordan as well. So there's some things to look out for as this Louisville offense needs to continue to take a, a positive step forward with the Seminoles coming to Cardinal Stadium on Friday night.